All right, good, after <clears throat> good afternoon, everyone, and thank you, each of you, for being here with us this afternoon. Uh, we wanted to provide you with an update on the ongoing cybersecurity uh, incident that's affecting several of our systems here in Fulton County. As we previously shared with you about one week ago, we detected suspicious activity on our network that has led to widespread system outages. And after detecting this activity, we immediately engaged leading cybersecurity experts and contacted local and federal law enforcement to assist us in our investigation. Since then, our teams have been working literally around the clock, including over the past weekend, to understand the nature of this activity and to safely restore services for our citizens. I want to first thank our staff for their hard work in the face of this challenge. It is especially important to note that there is, and I repeat, there is no evidence or reason to believe that this incident is related to the election process or other current events. However, in an abundance of caution, Fulton County and the Secretary of State's respective technology systems were isolated from one another as part of the response efforts. We're now working to securely reconnect these systems as we prepare for next month's primary election. We talk about restoration for a moment of services. For our citizens, please know that we're working to restore impacted services as quickly as possible. A limited number of phone services have been restored and we are continuing to add additional lines. We will continue to provide updates via our website. Our tax system. Our tax system is still down at this time. However, the Board of Assessors has resumed accepting homestead exemption applications. And last week, the tax commissioner was able to bring motor vehicle tags back online. And our Board of Equalization hearings are resuming tomorrow. I also want to touch very importantly on the justice system. With the busiest court system in the Southeast, we know this is affecting many of our constituents. I want to say a special thanks to our leaders in the justice system who have worked hard to find solutions to keep their processes working while our court system is down. Some of our court services, such as marriage licenses, are already back. And rest assured, we're working diligently on the others. Please be patient with us as we work to bring services back online. I understand there are continued questions from the community surrounding this incident. It is our intention to be as transparent as possible with our residents. However, this is an ongoing investigation that is still in its early stages. As such, there are certain details we're unable to share at this time. But as I said earlier, we're working with law enforcement and our outside experts to understand exactly what happened and to strengthen the security of our systems going forward. I want to again thank all of the residents of Fulton County for their patience and support, as well as our many partners for their understanding. We are a strong, resilient community and always have been. And I am confident we will come out even better than ever and stronger than ever. Thank you. <clears throat>